Good afternoon, Southwind 4-H. This is Michaela Stroud, 4-H Program Assistant, and today we're going to be talking about prepping for 4-H Day. So with a lot of those competitions, you can use visual aids. So these aids are props such as charts, models, posters, short video clips, um, anything that can help aid your presentation. So these visual aids should only have one main idea and should attract audience attention and also help with your main uh, speaking points. So to begin with, for today, we are going to be focusing on posters. So a few things to remember when making your poster for your 4-H Day competition is that it is legible. Uh, if you decide to handwrite your posters, that you use a bold, um, really good penmanship for that, maybe using a projector so you can project the text onto it and trace it and then fill it in. Um, you can use materials such as foam and cut out a bold type text using that or even purchasing uh, pre-made letters such as Dollar Tree, Walmart, any other type of office or retail stores have those available. Um, it can be very simple or you can jazz it up and have uh, quite a bit of detail in there too. Remember to just stick to your one main idea. If your demonstration has a certain process or instructions, you can certainly use a poster to highlight those as well. So uh, for my example here today, this was actually posters that I used for a cooking demonstration years ago. So there is a little bit of wear and tear. However, um, overall there's some good pieces to choose from that. So to begin with, um, the letters are nice and big and I just chose a simple print because you should be able to read your posters from 20 to 30 feet away. That sounds like a long distance, however, if you get in a large enough room um, and stand to the back, you should be able to clearly read what the posters are saying. So this is Making Memories with Pecan Pie, and I just chose a poster that is uh, more of just a neutral color, so I could use different colors on top of it. Um, when deciding your colors, remember so there's different um, color combinations going back to the color wheel on there's colors that clash, but then there's colors that get along. So such as if you have a black poster, yellow looks really great on that because it's a bright color against that darkness. If you use white, you could use reds, other warm colors, or if you decide to go with a color poster such as green, blue is the contrast color that goes really well with that. So just remember that so you don't have too busy of colors uh, interacting with each other and trying to cancel them out. All right, another example here with the cooking demonstration poster is have my ingredients um, listed out and for both the crust and the pecan, pecan pie filling. So I don't have that good of penmanship as a 26 year old, however, definitely not back when I was 12 or 13. So it's all right to use a computer and just have a large text, print that out, you can trim it, or just leave it on that sheet and just glue it to the poster. A couple different glues that you can use is just a clear craft glue and make sure that it's spread evenly on the back side of your letters or the paper that you're using. Um, a glue stick, so it's purple or a different color when you first use it, then once it dries, it is clear. Or something that wasn't around when I was a kid is the handy dandy little like glue dots or it's actually just something that you can run across the paper on the edges and it's not as messy and you can just put it on there and it's dried instantly. So there's a few options for you. A few other things is the Kansas State 4-H recommends your poster size to be 22 inches by 28 inches in case you are able to excel to a more advanced level such as regional or state. And um, Trying to think what else. Other things besides instructions or steps that you can provide are photos or charts and models, especially if you're doing an illustrated talk or a project talk with that. But those are the top tips and tricks I can think of for your visual aids for particularly posters. 
And remember, if you are wanting to participate in District 4-H Day, you need to register by this Friday, the 15th. So if you have any questions, just let us know.